good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe. Welcome to the Short Term Trading Live with Oscar's weekend webinar. Traders, this video is being filmed on Sunday. This is for trading on June 14th and 15th, 2009. That's Sunday, Monday. Traders, I will say this. We have been buyers of dips in the S&P and the currencies for quite some time. In the currencies, we were buying dips in the euro, you know, expecting that it would rally. But we have had a little bit of a formation here that has built up. And that formation looks to be a head and shoulders formation. I am not sure if that head and shoulders formation is actually going to materialize. Because if it did, it would be bearish. It happens to be within a bullish trend channel. And many times when you find a head and shoulders formation inside of a bullish channel, it really is just a continuation pattern after a brief pause. But technical indicators on the euro are pointing straight down. So if the formation is bearish and the technical indicators are bearish, as a day trader who's also a technician and uses technical analysis to trade, I don't have a choice, right? I cannot defend the upside in the euro currency. I must take a short position. So we are going to back off from the buyer of dips posture, at least for Sunday, Monday, and see what develops. Again, you will see it in charts on my board in a few moments, but we have a head and shoulders formation. 99% of it is formed in the euro currency. And it's an upright, you know, shoulder, head, shoulder, which means it should come off. Again, I'll repeat being that it's inside of a bullish channel. It could just be a continuation pattern. But with the technical indicators pointing down, what is a technician to do? If you buy that, you're buying your opinion instead of what the charts tell you. And we don't trade opinions here at the Omni Trading Academy. We trade the technical analysis. So against my better judgment, as far as my opinion is concerned, I am selling euro currency tonight. Take a look at the site. Take a look at the trade we have set up for you and see if you agree with that assessment before considering taking the trade recommendation. We also have something called the cup and handle formation traders. I showed that to you in my last video. That is in the Dow Industrials and the S&P. And I'll tell you what, I am going to continue to respect that formation unless the markets break down out of it and the indicators turn and everything goes bearish on us. Right now in the S&P and the world's indices, indicators are very mixed, but the formations are bullish. If the formations bullish and indicators are mixed, formation takes precedence over indicators. So for now, here's how we will handle the S&P. We will start off with a neutral posture for trading Sunday into Monday, allow a couple of our key Omni levels to get tested first, and if they hold certain levels, top and bottom, we will jump into a trade. For now, looking to sell rallies in euro currency for a day or two. We'll see what that brings. And we are stepping back with the S&P and allowing it to test some levels before we do anything. Now, traders, again, the cup and handle formation on the indices, the head and shoulders formation on the euro currency. If it was a simple head and shoulders and indicators pointing lower, it would be an easy call. But we have the dollar index to look at when you look at euro currency, right? Dollar index, even though it's breaking out of a bearish channel pointing up, it also has what could be construed as a head and shoulders sitting there just like the euro currency does. That would be bearish, no doubt, in the, in the dollar index. So if the dollar index head and shoulders works out to be a real head and shoulders, which is interesting because you shouldn't have one in euro and dollar at the same time, if that turns out to be the case, the dollar will continue lower, euro will continue higher, and we can go back to buying dip posture in the euro. But until the markets prove themselves, I'm going with the technical analysis. With no further ado, let me show you what I'm talking about, traders. Okay, traders, what you are looking at right now is the September euro currency daily bar chart. What we have in this daily bar chart right now is, as you can see with this blue line right here, it has been holding very well this channel or bottom of a channel because you can actually run a line across the tops here. You don't catch all the tops, but you actually have a parallel channel in there. Problem with that is this. 
One, two, three, shoulder, head, shoulder. Now we have not broken out to the downside to completely confirm that, but traders, it is what it is. That's a, a head and shoulders formation, and I cannot claim it's anything other until this. It either shows us it's a continuation pattern and heads up, or of course it breaks this trend line Sunday into Monday and breaks down. Now, if this is a true head and shoulders, 134 is our possible target over the near term. I don't think that'll be tomorrow, but if this turns out to be a head and shoulders and we break through this support, we are heading down here somewhere around the 134 area. Let's see what we get. Again, traders, if it was just this simple formation, I'd say, you know what, let's continue to buy dips because we're in the channel. But what I'm going to show you next should convince you why, as a technician, I cannot recommend buying dips today. And let's look. Okay, traders, what you're looking at right now is the Commodity Channel Index, or better known as the CCI, in the Euro Currency September Daily Bar. CCI is clearly pointing lower right now as is its average. The CCI is an indicator telling us, Oscar, you're gonna to have to sell rallies here. I'm pointing lower. Again, we never just look at one indicator. Let's look at a few more here. Okay, traders, the next chart you have before you is Euro currency September, but it is now the RSI or relative strength index. Look at which way relative strength is pointing. It is pointing lower right here. There is no doubt about that, right? So now we're starting to stack them up. CCI pointing down, RSI pointing down. Let's see what else we have out there. Okay, traders, now we're looking at the stochastics wrapped around the euro currency September. And look at the look there. Anyone that follows stochastics could not call that bullish by any means, right? You'd have to outright say that this is bearish. So indicators are beginning to stack up. Let's look at a couple of more here. Next on the list, traders, again, working with the euro currency daily September data, we now have the DMI or directional movement indicator. And if green is pointing down and red is pointing down, or even if red is pointing up while green is pointing down, that would be considered bearish. Again, if your green's pointing down and your red is pointing either up or believe it or not, down with the green, it is a bearish signal. And that's what we have right now. So indicators are really starting to stack up against the euro currency, as is that head and shoulders formation. Let's look at one more indicator here. Okay, traders, we are now looking at the Williams percent R again on euro currency and clearly, clearly pointing lower. Traders, every indicator I pulled this weekend, and I pulled about 15 indicators, not one indicator was pointing up, with the exception of... A strange variation of a stochastic, which only pointed slightly up. So what I'm here to say is all the indicators are pointing south, as is that head and shoulders formation. So as a technician traders, I cannot defend the upside and continue to buy dips. Otherwise, I would be trading my opinion and not what I see. We trade what we see on charts, not what we think might happen. Now, let's look at the other side of this equation, which would be dollar index. Okay, traders, this is dollar index September daily bar. And what you are looking at right now is the likelihood that we just broke out above this channel. Traders, this channel has been well respected many, many times on the way down, both sides, top and bottom. And at this point, you broke out and settled above yesterday, and or I should say Friday, and have opened this evening and opened up above. So what can I say except for if this is breaking out of its channel and we have that head and shoulders in the euro currency, the likelihood of some kind of a quick turnaround is in the making, meaning dollars higher, euro currencies lower. Again, trade is a bit of a difficult call, and I'm going to show you why right now. Take a look at this next chart. Okay, traders, we are still looking at the dollar index. Here is what I find extremely troublesome for us. This is the very same head and shoulders formation I showed you on the euro chart. Shoulder, head, shoulder. If it was going to be opposite, it should look like this, right? It should be an inverted head and shoulders. If euro currency has an, up, an upright head and shoulders, but they both have an upright head and shoulders. That means the dollar could easily continue lower, but... Today, as day traders being Sunday evening, we have no choice but to follow the analysis higher because we did break out of the trend channel. 
Now, there are indicators in the dollar index which bode or auger for this dollar to move higher tomorrow. So let's look at those. Okay, traders, the very same indicators that were pointing down in Euro currency. One, the commodity channel index clearly pointing up now in dollar index. The RSI or relative strength index clearly pointing up as are stochastics clearly pointing up. So if the dollar formation is looking bullish because it's breaking out of a channel and its indicators are pointing higher, while at the same time euro currency is coming out of the head and shoulders, getting ready to possibly test the support line and has bearish indicators, a technician could only call one thing. Buy dollars, sell euro currencies at least for Sunday into Monday and see what the market brings. Now traders, I'm going to take you to a much more interesting arena here. We're going to go look at the S&P right now, so let's look at these next couple of charts. Okay, traders, we are looking at the S&P right now. This is the S&P cash daily bar chart. Clearly, clearly above the 200 bar moving average illustrated by this line right here. We are in a flag which is bullish at this point, and we would expect to break out higher. And we've maintained levels above the previous head and shoulders, which is very, very positive for this market. On top of that, we've stayed within this trend channel and we've respected it every time we've hit it. So we have no choice but to continue buying dips in the S&P. And traders, yes, S&P and dollars could both go up at the same time. That is not unheard of. It's difficult to find euro currency and dollars going in one direction, but you can easily see S&P and dollars moving in the same direction while markets are gyrating, figuring out which direction they will want to go to next. The next chart I'm going to show you is basically inside the circle, but in the Dow Jones Industrial Chart. Okay, traders, when I look at this chart, I can only say one thing. We have no choice but to respect this bullish formation until the market tells us otherwise. Traders, this is about as close to a cup and handle formation as you will ever find. Here's the cup. And of course, here's the handle. Now, oddly enough, the handle didn't look like this, but there isn't much of a difference because it's still a cup and handle. We are well above the 200 bar moving average. And if we could stay above that, this is likely to break out on the upside. So unless this market severely breaks hard and ends up down here somewhere, we will continue our posture, which is to buy dips in the world's indices. Again, this is clearly a cup and handle. It's about six weeks long, maybe seven, somewhere five to seven weeks long in its, in its life so far. And that is about how much time you need to call one valid. So seriously, traders, you got to stay with this. We don't have a choice. And I will say this, the, war, the street is screaming for a correction. I mean screaming for a correction. Every article I could get my hands on, on the internet, as well as reading through some of the things a lot of my Omniacs are writing about, as well as scanning headlines, the whole world is screaming the S&P's gone too far too fast. Since when is the herd mentality correct? So you even have that on the side of the S&P because if the herd thinks it's going down, you might as well put your buying shoes on. We will take a neutral posture tomorrow starting off and see what it wants to give us before we enter this market. Traders, pull your charts, do your own homework, make sure you agree with our assessments before considering taking our trading recommendations. So traders, you see those charts? You see what I'm looking at here, right? You got you to gotta kind of back off on the buying dips posture in the euro because how could you possibly buy dips with all those indicators pointing down, the head and shoulders staring you in the face. The only thing stopping me from jumping all over this right at the market on the short side is because the dollar is a little bit strange having that very same head and shoulders. It should be opposite. It should be inverted in the dollar. Being that it looks just like the euro currency, I have to say... There's no way that I could go long this thing. I must go short or at least sell the rallies for a couple of days in euro currency and see what's going to happen. The opposite side of that is 
what we're looking at in the S&P. Now, traders, you would think the dollar's going up. How could S&P go up? But I am here to tell you clearly it can and does happen. It's not as tied to the U.S. stock market, the dollar, as it would be to euro currency. If euro currency is going up, the dollar is going down. The stock market and the dollar can easily go up together or down together. That is possible. So you see the whole thing is slightly confusing. So what do you do? You step back and use the analysis and let it call the trade. What we always do here, and that's what we're doing now. So make sure you do your homework on that euro currency. Now, as far as the S&P is concerned, traders, as I said in the chart segment, everyone on the street is yelling, it's the end of the world, it's gone too far. Look at the rally, how can it sustain? It's a bubble. Well, you know what? When the whole street yells that, you might as well just get long. Because usually, the street is wrong. Now, I'm not going to trade based on what the street thinks or what I think. I'm only going to trade based on the analysis. The analysis says... Back off slightly, a couple of hours, let it test a few levels, and jump on in, and don't be afraid. And that's what we're going to do, Omniacs. Don't be afraid of this market. Why? Because our stops are in first. We have predetermined risk on every trade. You don't take one of our Omni Trading Academy recommendations without knowing your predetermined risk before we ever get in. We place our stops first before we even get into a trade. So the beauty of day traders is... You never get caught sucking on a position that goes against you for 10 days in a row. And what you were hoping for a small profit turns out to be a loss this big. In the environment we're in right now, traders, the way these markets turn on a dime and just go the other way, if you are a position trader, I am sure you are feeling pain right now because these markets have been like this. How many position traders can be in this thing right now and in the right direction? It flips too often. So your position traders, what you should be doing is listening to the street, the bigger street here. I'm not talking about the yells about where the market will go, but there's a bigger part of the street. Those are the hedge funds. Traders, when funds are getting in and out of this market lately, they get in and they get right back out after a couple of bucks profit. They do not hang around. They are not building major positions in our markets. Learn from them. Do the same. Happens to be this year, right now, this time, in this environment, you are not supposed to be holding positions. It's called the herd mentality. They're hurting in, they're hurting out. And that part of their mentality, if you ask me, is correct in this juncture that we're in in the markets. So make sure you do the same. Don't hold positions, especially if they're against you. Get out of them and on to the next trade. All right, traders. More interesting, if the dollar index is going to go up based on the analysis we just looked at in the currency, well... That means that our commodities are going to go back down for a little while. The corn, the wheat, the grain, the sugar, the coffee, the cocoa, the meats. Well, meats never went anywhere to begin with. But the ones that went up, if dollar is going to go higher for a few days to a week or so, whatever the number is here, those markets are going to get hit on the downside. So this whole thing is one big picture, and you need to be paying attention to the whole picture. And that's what our weekend webinars are about. These weekend webinars are to keep you in tune with the broader picture so that you're not day trading with the wrong posture. So remember, if dollars going up, you don't want to find yourself buying grains for day trades because it's probably going to hurt you. Be careful in that arena. Same thing with the softs, most likely. The metals are a bit freaky right now. And the oils, hey, whoever's buying oil, it's a pure spec buy because oil shouldn't be at $70 right now, although it looks like it's going to go to 80 right? But that's a pure spec buy right now because it's not all that much new business taking place, shipping things all over this planet more than there was two months ago. So why would oil be going nuts? One thing about the oil complex is this. If it continues to go higher, we're going to get punched in the eye in our stock market. We cannot have $150 oil and have our market going up. So let's hope the oil backs down because if it doesn't, we're all going to be very, we're going to have to try to look at this in a different way. And we're all going to be very disappointed because the higher oil goes, the harder it is for companies to make money. So there, that is our black cloud right now, traders. Hope the oil goes lower. Look at the analysis. If it does start to go lower, then we'll be saved. If it does not, you know, hey, it's going to get tricky out there. All right, traders. You know, at our Omni Trading Academy, we get lots and lots of letters. What we do is we put these videos out. We have a free chat room. We do free classes. We do everything we can to help our traders out there. Now... Many of them write letters to us every day. One letter that came across my desk a few days ago really struck me, and I thought I would read it to you. CK, this is for you. CK, off the bat, thank you so much for sending it in. 
Well, let me read you a thought on one of our premium members. It says, kind of a long comment, and it comes in three parts, which he did break, break it down into three parts on the YouTube video. We put it all in one part here on our paper. Kind of a long comment, so it's in three parts. But I wanted to gear it towards anyone that is thinking about taking a step towards managing all or part of their own financial accounts. I took the plunge at the beginning of the year with Oscar, and he has introduced me to concepts I will forever be grateful for. Well, yes, he can. You go, baby. He's paying attention. I struggled with trading for two years and wanted to make it my occupation, so I began to follow Oscar's site religiously and have gained so much knowledge, and now I've gained experience. It has been a life-changing event for me and one that has been extremely positive. Sure, there are going to be people out there that do not agree with his style, but if you follow what he says and get used to how he implements a plan, you can and will succeed. All you need is an open mind about trading. His YouTube is Mountain90210, but he's CK at the site. CK, thank you so much, baby. I am so glad you're learning here. Had a great time with you in Vegas a couple of weeks ago, and thank you for everything that you do at the Omni Trading Academy. All right, traders, if you'd like to learn about trading, simply come on down to www.livewithoscar.com. Grab a free membership. They are free. It'll cost you nothing to see what we're doing. Jump in our chat rooms. Come to one of our classes if we hold them during the week. See what it is that we do, traders. See why there are so many thousands of Omniacs that just keep coming. Because when they find us, they realize we truly are here to try and help, traders. We're helping as many traders out there as we can get through this financial mess. And if all goes well, maybe we're finally getting towards the bottom stages of that mess. We'll see. We'll take that one day at a time. All right, traders, that's about it. Weekend webinars coming to a close. I want out of here. Give me a call anytime, day or night, 702-629-4755. And as always, keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best ways I can help you with this is to tell you, say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening. And you know what it is. Stuffs are in! Emotions are out! Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided. That being said, I'm a 27-year seasoned trader on and off the trading floors. This is how I've made my living for many, many years.